guys and welcome back to another video i hope that you are doing amazing today i have my iced coffee and good lord i'm gonna need this because today we are going to be swatching one of my absolute favorite liquid lipstick formulas and the shocking thing is that these lipsticks are only four dollars and they are from the she glam makeup line I purchased one, just one, to be able to see what it looks like, how it feels, how it wears, and I was completely obsessed that I literally went and bought 10 other colors. So today we're gonna do a try-on review. I'll tell you all the details about it. I'll show them, I'll swatch them on my lips so that you can see the different colors and all of that good stuff. Listen, if you are a liquid lipstick lover like I am, these are insane. Like, let's... If you want to see what they look like and all the tea about these lipsticks, well then just keep on watching. So before we jump into the actual swatches of each of the colors, I do just want to give you some beats. Just so you know, on She Glam, you cannot return any makeup. So makeup is final purchases, which is another reason why I like doing these She Glam makeup videos for you to be able to see them on someone else's skin color and just see the color for itself hear the review and see if it's worth purchasing or not i will tell you from now these are so worth purchasing get your hands on them if you have not already because wow the color that i am wearing right now and actually the first color that i purchased is the color named sugar and it's this really beautiful neutral nude color and so i just want to give you guys some info on these lipsticks they are supposed to be lightweight and non-drying and that is very true you literally don't even feel them on your lips and they don't feel dry you can do like the smile you can move your lips and it doesn't feel like it's gonna crumble or it's super drying or anything like that it says our specially developed formula gives you bold color that won't dry out your pout we love that transfer free formula matte color so we they're all are a matte finish that stays locked on your lips no matter what yep face mask and all so just gonna give a kiss on my hand and that is absolutely true no transfer i have worn this lipsticks with mask and it does not transfer so we absolutely love that obviously the matte formula is what allows that to be able to happen but we love that so much they say these lipsticks deliver highly saturated matte finishes with lightweight, no drying feeling and long lasting wearability over hours. So it's also promising to be a long lasting. And like I said, I have worn this lip color and even their red and crimson, which has become one of my favorites. And it literally really does last all day. You can eat, you can drink, you can wear your mask and it does not move anywhere this liquid lipstick has high intensity pigment and moisturizing ingredients which gives you an instant matte lip without drying it out buildable texture that also allows you to combine colors and to customize your lip look so that is so fun i've actually been playing around with mixing lip colors it was something i never really used to do before but i combined actually that crimson red color with a two-faced gingerbread lipstick together and it created such a beautiful color so i'm happy to see that you can customize your looks and kind of just like mix them and they work well together another quick uh, info on this the finish is a matte finish benefits is that it's long wearing it says it's waterproof and also smudge proof and yeah that pretty much concludes all of the details that she glam provides on here as well they do uh sell 20 different shades and i purchased 11 of them and honestly there's like a few other ones that i'll put in my cart but i kind of went for the colors that i knew i would wear the absolute most and that would work best with my color they are four dollars they have almost 10,000 reviews they are five stars so it looks like tons of people also love it as well so now that i've just given you a recap of the details of these let's go into the exciting part and that is going to be swatches so like i said this is the color sugar i'll also try and just swatch them on my hand as well just so you can see what it looks like up against the skin this is the color and you see sometimes it looks so different on here versus on the lip same color that is the same color so that is going to be sugar next we have another neutral color and this one is going to be in the color vetiver i believe is how you mention it or vetiver but this is what she looks like and as well on the lips very similar to that other color but these are the tones that i love to wear especially when i do colorful eyes 
they are such beautiful neutrals that lean a little more towards the warm side so that is this shade and it's always once again so funny to see how different it looks swatched versus on the lip next up we have the color called maven and this is what she looks like they're all neutral so they might all literally look the absolute same on camera and on my lips but i do see myself in the mirror in person and they all have slight little tints so if you're a neutral lipstick and lip liner type of girl you know the differences in neutrals and these are just so beautiful and stunning so this is in the color maven now we have this beautiful burn orange color and this one is going to be in the shade called sweet poison and this is what she looks like such a beautiful like gingerbread very fall color i think that'll look so beautiful with a neutral eye or even just something orangey on the eye for a monochromatic vibe but this color is absolutely stunning it reminds me of one of the shades from the Too faced holiday gingerbread collection and it looks phenomenal i love it i think this is such a beautiful way to have kind of just like a bold color because it is very like bold for it being orange but it's still pretty neutral it's not like a bold pink or a bold red so it's such a fun color to just be able to use so like i said this is sweet poison so this color is a lot brighter than what I thought it would be. This is going to be Misty Rose, and she is a, a very bright coral, orangey color. And I think on its own, I'm not crazy about it, but I think it will look really beautiful with like a brown lip liner underneath to just kind of tone it down a bit. But I think the color is stunning. It's very pigmented. It really does show up. And it looks really nice on the skin. The formula across all of these is literally the same, a lightweight, non-drying, and I really, really love how it looks. So this is, once again, Misty Rose. Next up, we have this pinkier lipstick, and that is going to be in the shade Damsel. And this is what she looks like on my hand and then on the lip once again i feel like some of these colors will look so beautiful with a lip liner i am just applying it literally straight all across just to really see the color and to see the pigment and to see if the formula is the same across all and so far we have swatched six and they are all consistent formula is very comfortable pigmented and i love them so far moving into my more bold and deeper shades we have the color here musing which is this really beautiful kind of like brick red color and it looks absolutely stunning i love how it looks even in contrast with this blue liner it is so beautiful comfortable and this is what she looks like and i have to add this is literally like my seventh or eighth lipstick that i am testing out and trying out like right here back to back and i'm removing it using my makeup forever sense eyes waterproof remover with just a wipe and it comes off so easily so smoothing and my lips don't hurt usually when i do or even think about doing any of these swatch videos i'm just like do i really want to apply so many lipsticks because i feel like my lips are just breaking apart as i am removing it that is not the case with these at all let me just show you literally one swipe and it comes off completely you can tell like my lips are not irritated at all yet and like i mentioned this is my eighth seventh or eighth lipstick that i've been swatching already so the removing process is nice and smooth while still lasting so it really is living up to that non-drying effect Next up we have one of my absolute favorite shades and that is going to be the color crimson and that is this beautiful blue red and I did just want to apply it with you guys so you can see how the application process looks literally just taking out one time and then we're just going to swipe it across and do you see like it's insane it's so pigmented and it just glides it really does just glide completely so I'm just going to put that on. Oh, that is so stunning. Oh my goodness. So stunning.
And so once again, this is the color Crimson, and oh, it is my absolute favorite. I did just want to show you guys what the brush head on the lip looks like. It is this on the flat, but then straight on you have it kind of just like flatter on this side, which really does help to just be able to outline the lips nicely, and it just works so well. Once again, this is the color Crimson, one of my favorites. If you are a red lip lover, check this color out because it is stunning. It's literally one of my go-to, and as you see, it literally is that red that would just make your teeth look super, super white, which we love. So this is, once again, Crimson. Let me swatch that on the hand for you guys just so you can see what she looks like. One of my favorites, absolute favorite. This is like a holiday staple. I need to definitely wear that all the time. <laughs> This next lip color is in the shade City Nights and it is a beautiful, stunning, deeper red color. Now this one, the application took a little more finessing to be able to do that typically happens with darker lipsticks and lip colors, but this is what she looks like, stunning and beautiful on the lips as well. Once again, this is the color City Nights. The last red we have here is going to be this color called Cosmopolitan and this is what she looks like. This one looks like it's a little more of like an RNG red but it's still absolutely stunning. This is what she looks like on my hand. As you can see it leans a little more on the RNG side. You can see it a lot more on here but this is what she looks like. Formula is the same lightweight very nice. You do have to finesse these deeper colors just a little bit more to ensure that they are even. But once you do, it looks absolutely stunning. And so the last and final color that we have here is going to be this one. And this is in the color named Attraction. And she is a beautiful, deep, pinky red, which I love so nice. It has a little touch of like mauviness to it. And it is feels and just looks absolutely stunning. All right, guys. Well, that concludes this swatch video. We went through 11 of these lipsticks and I have to add my lips are not like killing me right now. They're not burning. They're not, you know, like, oh my goodness, why did you just put me through that? Which just speaks high volume of the quality of these lips. Honestly, She Glam like they nailed it when it came to this formula. I am definitely a lover of more matte lipsticks. I want the pigment and the color that I put onto my lips to stick for a long time. So liquid lipsticks are usually what offer that, but in exchange for that, you typically always have to like sacrifice having that your lips are super dry or that they start cracking or crumbling or breaking apart, which is why I am obsessed with this item because it really feels so lightweight. It wears well, it does not crumble. It doesn't make your lips feel super dry and it allows me to have that matte transfer proof uh, feature that I absolutely love of liquid lipstick. So once again, if you are a liquid lipstick lover like me, check these out. They have nine more colors. So by all means, explore which colors you like. If you um, enjoyed any of the ones that I put on, I'll try and list all of them down below just so you can easily find them. But they are so beautiful and I am just so happy that I have them now because I love to play around with like color, especially bold colors on the lip just because for me that is the feature on my face that I love the most. I have these big lips so I like to be able to just put colors to just add emphasis to it to structure it and just to have that aspect or that feature of my face really pop. So I am loving that this lipstick works so well with me and I wanted to share that with all of you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have an amazing day and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!